Imagine a landscape suddenly carved with miles of deep, muddy trenches. While these earthworks were built for survival, they also became accidental laboratories for nature. As soldiers dug in, they created a network of moist, shaded microhabitats. Rainwater pooled in the trenches, forming stagnant ponds. These unusual conditions attracted certain insects like mosquitoes and beetles, which thrived in the damp environment. Frogs and toads soon followed, taking advantage of the new breeding grounds. Small mammals, such as field mice and voles, found shelter in abandoned dugouts and tunnels, safe from many predators. Even plants responded. Seeds carried by wind or boots took root in the disturbed soil, leading to unexpected bursts of wildflowers and grasses. Over time, the trenches became ribbons of biodiversity cutting through previously uniform fields. Long after the fighting ceased, these scars in the earth remained, supporting species that otherwise might not have flourished there. The legacy of these trenches is a powerful reminder even in the midst of destruction, nature adapts, transforms, and sometimes finds a way to thrive.